Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and I'm excited because it's finally time to show off my gaming and streaming setup I have behind me. I did just move to a new apartment, so I did some upgrades, made some changes, and I'm pretty excited to show them off. So this isn't just about one product. I'm going to go ahead and show off everything that I've been using on a day-to-day -day basis. I've also been streaming on Twitch for over two years now, which is pretty crazy. Built a great community there. I can link to that down below, but also show off what I'm using while streaming, including my desktop, my different peripherals, my monitors, all that good stuff, and potentially give you some ideas for Christmas gifts, etc. So let's go ahead and get started on my gaming streaming setup tour. So let's begin. Here's just a quick overview of the setup. As you can tell, it's in a bit of a nook of my apartment, which actually fit really well with my desk. I really like it because it does back into my family room. So there's space behind me, which gives some depth in the camera while I'm streaming. Over here, you'll see my collection of hats, which I'll wear when I stream. And then in the corner here, there's a bit of a Google Home in case I need to ask it something maybe about the weather or change the thermostat if I get a little cold or hot. So let's go ahead and talk about all of the different things I've added and I use on a daily basis throughout my desk setup when I'm gaming and streaming. Let's begin our tour with the headset I have been using and this is the Turtle Beach Elite Atlas Aero headset. And Turtle Beach is actually the sponsor of the video so big shout out to them for sponsoring. However, this is the first wireless headset I have ever used, and I am extremely impressed with the Elite Atlas Aero. Side note, Turtle Beach also has a stand for your headset where you can display it prominently, or if you wanna be like me, I actually like to put it underneath my desk and just kinda of tuck it away for my Turtle Beach headset. This is Turtle Beach's flagship headset, and it shows they have powerful 50 millimeter nano clear speakers, has a high sensitivity microphone, which actually will input back into your headset if you'd like to, so you can kind of hear how loud you're actually being when you're talking. Very helpful when you're streaming. This headset also has a sleek metal headband, and Turtle Beach has done a good job at making it very comfortable. One thing I really noticed was how much cooler my ears stay over periods of time. That's because there is cooling gel infused memory foam ear cushions in it and it definitely keeps my ears cooler over the previous leather headset i was using you also have access to the new software suite from turtle beach called control studio and within control studio you can change up so many things to your liking you can set game presets you can change volume you have a game spatializer you have superhuman hearing where it can boost up your hearing. This also includes Waves and X3D audio and a built-in equalizer. And yes, I will be linking to all of these products in the description, link to the Elite Atlas Aero down below. Moving along, let's go ahead and check out behind the headset. So here has been my main desktop. This is the HP Omen Obelisk, and it has been crazy good for me, especially when streaming. I find that streaming is super intensive. So it's a good way to test it out. And as you can tell here, I actually have a separate video I'll link to down below. So I don't, don't wanna go too in detail, but this is the RTX 2080 Ti coupled with an i9 9900K processor, which is water-cooled as you can tell. It does have some controllable RGB lighting, 32 gigs of RAM, and has just been crazy quick, crazy fast handling all of the latest games. That's the HP Omen Obelisk. Moving along, this has been a big upgrade year for me in terms of monitors, and you'll notice they really aren't held up by a stand. They just have the one arm connected holding up both of these two monitors. This is the Vivo monitor stand, which I will link to down below. Just bought it off Amazon, just checked the reviews, made sure it works okay, and I've been very happy with it so far. Here's just a quick look behind the desk, showing off the two arms, and you can really place them however you want. I just found that I liked having a vertical monitor next to a horizontal one. Our first monitor is the one that I game on, and this has been my favorite monitor I have ever used. BenQ did send it over for a review, and that review is coming very soon, so stay tuned. However, I will say this is the BenQ EX2780Q gaming monitor, and this is BenQ's flagship gaming monitor with 144 hertz, 1440p, and that is the complete sweet spot for me in terms of gaming in 1440p resolution at that 144 hertz refresh rate. This is a G-Sync compatible monitor and also has a remote that comes with it. So if you want to turn on the HDRI mode, 
change the color settings or any of the settings on the monitor you can on the fly along with the volume of it and i found that the speakers on this monitor are some of the best i've ever heard on a monitor no they're not going to replace a separate set of pc speakers however they do a really good job in certain scenarios playing music our second monitor is also benq however used for a different purpose this is the pd2720u which is a 4k monitor so reading text is super crisp on it color accuracy is fantastic i'm another big fan of this monitor as well and here's pretty much the standard i've got discord on the bottom in the middle usually spotify and then up towards the top maybe i'm watching a youtube video a sports game browsing through twitter and that just works with my workflow so i do like the horizontal monitor along with the vertical one next to it and that takes up less space for me to the right of my desktop i've put the nano leaf aurora which i've used in my studio for a while however i'm actually doing something different in my studio this time I'm actually really excited to show that off, so stay tuned for my studio setup coming this month. And realistically, the Nano Leaf looks better in person than it does on camera. Just the lighting looks a little strange when you film it. Moving down our stream deck, which is what I use all the time while streaming. And realistically, you don't really need a stream deck, especially if you have a second monitor. However, I found that it is convenient. It adds to the convenience or you could actually just have some hot keys on your keyboard to customize, but you'll see I can switch scenes on the fly. I can skip, mu skip through music, make some clips on Twitch, and other things such as switch between my headset audio and my monitor audio really quickly on the fly. So it's really convenient. However, I find that when using actually Twitch chat, it works maybe 60% of the time. Onto some more peripherals here, and here is the Razer Huntsman gaming keyboard. And I've been using this for a while now, and I really don't see a reason to switch. It's very comfortable to use. I really like the switches that Razer has put in. And this pad is fairly soft. I noticed over time it has a little bit of a give right where I re rest my wrist a lot of times. Now, moving along, we have our mouse and mouse pad. Those come together in a package deal. This is the Logitech G903 been using this for a while to game on and I don't think I will want to switch to another mouse I might try one but I don't know if I'll be able to switch I really like having the buttons on the right side and left side and no I'm not just really dirty I actually purposely left dust in both the keyboard and mouse to show off my next product that I just bought not too long ago but with this mouse it actually works in conjunction with the mouse pad and it wirelessly charges my mouse while being in use so i've never once had to plug in this mouse not once it has always consistently been charged every time i use it never had any issues with disconnecting i highly recommend it if you're looking for a wireless mouse mouse pad combo and our next product right here it is the compu cleaner 2.0 which i just bought on amazon not too long ago and i'm really happy i did i used to get air canisters all the time but you just plug this one in in a nice braided cable and it has a couple speeds one and two high pressure air and it is yes very high pressure kind of reminds me of a leaf blower just in miniature format so if i did want to get rid of dust whether it be in my desktop on my mouse on my keyboard again why i did that i could just go ahead and do so And as you can see, I don't have to deal with any of the compression of the canister where I have to do it in short bursts. I can just go ahead and use the air coming out of it. Sorry if that got too loud. I will go ahead and bump it down in the editing process. And of course, can't forget the microphone I use while streaming. It did come in a set with the arm and the pop filter. The arm itself is a little flimsy. However, it hasn't actually broken on me yet, so I haven't had a need to buy a new one but I am using the Blue Yeti microphone, which I've been really happy with. My audience has been really happy with, so shout out to you guys for giving me feedback when I tested it out. Uh, so that is kind of what I've been using when streaming on Twitch and playing my video games with friends. Can't forget the webcam I use to stream, and I have it going right now live, and I do use Streamlabs OBS software when I do stream on Twitch, and shout out to all of these people for actually following on Twitch now. With the webcam, this is the Logitech C920, which has been solid. It does shoot in 1080p. It does the trick for streaming. I would never shoot an actual video. It doesn't really handle exposure very well. I really have to play around with it with a lot of light going on. 
Can't forget the chair, and this chair is crazy comfortable, highly recommended. It is a little expensive, but I do think it's going to be something that I'll be sitting on for a long period of time. And this is the steel case gesture chair. You can really customize so many things with the length of the arm, the height, the headrest actually moves back and forth, just how comfortable you wanna be. And you can change how easy it is to lean back with the back of the chair. So again, a really, really high premium chair that does have a high price point. My desk is a flexi spot sit stand desk, so I can actually change the height on the fly, up and down, however I want. And then of course, attached to my desk is a light strip. And this is a Yi light, light strip that they sent me a long time ago. You can customize the colors if you want to, and I finally found a use for it. Not the prettiest yet, but in the corner I have my surge protector, and I actually decided to buy an Amazon Basics 12 port one, so I'm actually gonna consolidate two surge protectors into one. Definitely a good investment for me, just kind of lets me know that I can put all of my plugs in one place and easier for cable management. All right, so that's everything I want to cover in my gaming streaming setup video. Wanted to go a little vlog style, so hopefully you kind of like it. Uh, be sure to drop a comment, let me know if you have any questions or let me know what you think of this setup, how I can make it better, anything like that. Uh, and that's overall it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be sure to click the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe as well. A lot more setup and other videos coming very soon. And as always, guys, thank you very much for watching.